Let's meet the starting lineup for the visiting Brooklyn Nets. At power forward, Dorian Finney-Smith. At forward, Cameron Johnson. At center, Nicholas Claxton. At point guard, Dennis Schroeder. At guard, Cameron Thomas. The head coach of the visiting team is Jordy Fernandez. Basketball fans, you've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. This is Kevin Harlan. I'm joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Taking a look at New York, so far they've got the fourth best record in the conference. And of course, the Brooklyn Nets, two spots down. And right now for the Nets, this hasn't been the breakout season that many were predicting, but they're still very much in the hunt for a high postseason seed, and that will keep them focused here during the season's final stage. From here on out, it's just about putting in the work, coming to every game ready to compete, and never giving less than your best. So the Nets starting five. The guard pick, Schroeder and Thomas. Nicholas Claxton out there with Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Johnson in at the small forward. And for the Knicks, Mikel Bridges out there with Ananobi. Then there's Towns. Then it's Josh Hart. And it's Brunson in at the one. The three from Johnson. And when you're taking on a back-to-back, -back, Richard, does your approach change at all? As a player, not much. The coaches, they may work to adjust some minutes. But on the court, you just got to keep pushing. Plenty of power on that slam. Two, Towns was zero. not messing around. Shooter passes to Finney Smith. And Thomas has it in the corner. Drains the three-pointer. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. You guys, you just can't afford to give away points from the foul line. Not in the NBA. Teams are just too talented. Oh, that is well said. They're being handed three points and just couldn't convert. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. You will gladly take those. Johnson outside. Finney Smith passes to Thomas. Driving to the basket. Some solid defense from Hart. 
Got to applaud the defensive effort. It's not easy to stop him getting in the lane like that. Cam Thomas was the 27th pick in the 2021 NBA Draft GA. I think a lot of teams, wouldn't you agree, are regretting passing on him. Yeah, it's pretty hard to believe that he fell all the and way the to with, the end in the, the Nets. Round. With Lots great court awareness. Look at that. Like him what a block. On their roster. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Now here's Bridges over Johnson. Drops in the layup for two. Yeah, Bridges has many ways to convert inside, which can make it tough to stop. Johnson outside. Thomas kicks to Finney Smith. Ananobi comes with the double team. Finney Smith passes to Thomas. Here's Johnson. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Bridges outside. And here's Brunson outside. Rebounded by the Nets. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Here's Thomas. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, you talk about Cam Thomas. RJ, he's one of the most explosive scorers I know in the NBA. Well, after Kyrie and KD got traded out of Brooklyn, Thomas went off, putting together a streak of three straight 40-point games. And Brooklyn making a change here. Bonnie's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. I'm told now by our producer, uh, do we have him, guys? Okay, we do. We have a call coming in from Shams Chirani. Shams, thanks for joining us. What do you have? Well, guys, a big story this summer was Jalen Brunson signing a team-friendly extension, leaving an unprecedented amount of money on the table, but providing the Knicks with the opportunity to lock in this tight-knit core Dennis and Schroeder. contend in the East at the highest of levels for years to come. Wow, a team to be reckoned with. Shams, thank you very much for the report. New York, no good that time either. Nets leading by five. Thomas goes in. Inside. And Mikel Bridges pulls it down. New York's gone 0-2 from deep here. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, the Brooklyn Nets wasted no time hiring the next coach, Jordy Fernandez, shortly after the conclusion of last season. Despite his youth, Fernandez has been on the rise after stops as an assistant with the Kings, Nuggets, and Cavs, as well as coaching the Canadian national team. And the Knicks Kevin, seem to be off here. We've been talking about Jordy Fernandez for a long time. Now his big break. And the Nets with and great core awareness. Hey, David, thank you. Continue to drive that hammer. In the Knicks back. Here's Brunson. And Brunson and he banks in the lane. Looking at continue with his surgeon when he has the ball. Great layup. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Johnson with a screen on Brunson. And it's Schroeder missing. Knicks trail by five. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Hart, no good. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. Nailed from three-point land. Three point Johnson's goal. got five points so far. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside positions. And we got a timeout here called by Jordy Fernandez. He's ready to talk things through with the team. Here they are, fans. Put your hand in the Some changes for Brooklyn. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Williams comes in for Johnson. And Simmons subbed in for Cameron Thomas. Now here's Simmons. He averages a bit over six points a game. Schroeder outside. It's rebounded by Towns. Now, I understand that that shot didn't go down, but they will take that look every trip down the floor. Knocks down the three ball. And Towns Anthony Towns, Towns with a three. The Bringing Towns their trail by three. And again, no good by McBride, Anthony Towns. Right now, it's really 
Jericho Sims. Hey, move the ball along pretty slow, man. And they get the foul. Anyway, so a three point play chance for him. Exposing the defense and taking advantage in the game. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Yeah, he's at 81% from the line. And we've had a chance to see him. He's had great form and, and continues to look confident. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Next trail by six. Outside Towns. That one goes. Counted. He's got seven. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. There's the pick. Simmons inside. Sims there. That doesn't go, and he's 0-1 from the field. And Towns gets it to go. Towns and he brings him in down right to He's got nine. Hard to bump him out of his rhythm. Here's Finney Smith. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. Nets lead by two. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play and taking a look at the Nets performance here guys uh, what jumps out to you stats wise yeah in that first period they look to push in transition at every opportunity it leads to some easy buckets and I think it's given them control of the pace in this one here's Brunson his last outing he had 24 points and Brooklyn looking who they've got we've got Williams Simmons is out there with Shake Milton. Then there's Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Clowney in at the center. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. You know, the hopes of a super team in Brooklyn did not come to fruition at all, Richard. And you saw it firsthand. Thank you for reminding me of that, Kevin. Yes, I had a front row view to it. And look, from a fan's perspective, it's a tough take. McBride with his first bucket. You are thinking championship, and you never got close. Here's Simmons. He's off on that one. Great defense by Jericho Sims. Shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. Shoots from eight. A shot he by can't Simmons. get a bucket. Second flop of the quarter. With Jericho Sims. To the middle. Here's Clowney. The kick out to Williams. Here's Finney Smith. Good. And it's Williams who picks up the assist. Finney Smith's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. High in the pass to Sims. Brooklyn with the rebound. Clowney's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Williams. It's rebounded by New York. Here's McBride. And the three off target. That's leading by three. Here's Milton. It's deflected. Here's McBride. Hunted by Simmons. And the pressure is on. It's been a rough period so far. Good defense by Sims. Having a good defensive quarter, but not offensively. Brunson gets blocked. And this is all been defensive here on both sides. What's up a three? Simmons pulls it in. Slow going for him this quarter. The defense putting up a good fight. To the right side. Pass to Finney Smith. And the Nets miss again. Next trail by three. Careful, Sims. And here is Toppin. Hunted by Simmons. Sims kicks to Brunson. And Brunson nails that one. Tight game. And we see Dunkers 
basket technicals for hanging on the rim, slapping the backboard, or Richard even staring someone down. Uh, should refs let that slide, or is that something they got to pay attention to? I don't mind the hanging on the rim, the smacking the backboard. I Top love in. that aggression. The staring people down, that's something you got to be careful with because that can cause some problems, and we don't want any of those issues in the gym. And we got a timeout here called by Jordy Fernandez. He wants to talk to his guys. And a new group out there on the floor for the Nets. Now look at the hottest teams in the league. These squads have knocked down everything in the last 10 games. The Knicks fourth. You have to be impressed with their shot selection. I mean, the discipline on that end and the unselfishness really is what allows those great numbers to show up. Here's Schroeder. He's coming off a 16-point game against Boston. Johnson, wide open, he fires, Cameron drills Johnson. the three-pointer. Three Johnson's got his third basket of the night. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving it. I've been in the edge of my seat full time. Bill Bridges with his first three of the night. Gives the lead, the lead once again. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. The Knicks with the lead. Brunson the pass to Hart. Brunson kicks to Hart. Josh Hart. Okay, the triple. Brooklyn's gone. Two of four he hasn't been able to get on a roll here. He has one layup in the first quarter. Yeah, his dad, Rick Brunson, was an 11-year vet who also played overseas and eventually settled in as a coach in Rick this Kale. league. So Jalen grew up in those NBA locker rooms. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Nick's Kevin down by three. OG Ananobi has become a great complimentary offensive weapon. Coach Tom Thibodeau says he's got a really good feel. Oh, gee. And a novi. He knows how to read defenses and how to attack. Time and again. His acquisition has taken this team to another level at both ends of the court. Back to you. Yeah, D.A., it's been phenomenal. No question about that whatsoever. Thank you so much. And here's Schroeder after OG Ananobi made that last three-pointer. Six to shoot. The Knicks forcing them to shoot. Hits the front of the rim and out. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold stream. Yeah, <laughs> right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. Brooklyn's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. And the foul called on OG and Obi. That is his first foul of the game. The Knicks making a switch here. McBride's checked in, and the Nets also making a change. Finney Smith's checked in. Now here's Schroeder. His scoring totals are something to take note of. He's averaging over 19 points a game. The offensive rebound. Johnson with the bounce pass. Claxton sets the screen for Thomas. And it's good. Two points. Thomas got seven points here in this quarter. Now be careful because he is a rhythm scorer. Thomas has been locked and loaded all night with a full play. Getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the other. 32. Here's Thomas. 17 points for him last game against Boston. Laxton is screen on heart. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. New York ahead, up by one. A chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Come one, come all. The 2K halftime is here, and so is our breakdown of the upcoming schedule. Let's check it out. You know, maybe we should take a road trip, the three of us. Yeah, if we're going on a road trip, I'm bringing my dogs. Nah, what about that smell? I don't think they'll mind it. Ouch. And fellas, bringing it back to our main matchup here. Through the first half, Carl Anthony Towns has been getting 
it done. You took a lot of good shots in the first half. Also made some contested shots, playing with great confidence. You know what? A couple of times, you could just see defenders hang their heads, man. And that is it for half. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. We've seen Cam Thomas really having a great game. And the Knicks up by one here in the beginning of the second half. Looking to change the momentum on their side. Jalen Brunson. We've got Jalen Brunson. Bridges out there with on and over. Then there's Towns, and it's Hart in at the two guard. That's the five for New York right now. Outside Thomas. Over Hart. Thomas with another miss. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. I mean, that can happen to anyone, but it's ugly every time it does. And you have to feel for him. That's the kind of miss that will stick with you for a little bit. Johnson with a screen on Brunson. A 15-footer, and it's Schroeder missing. The Knicks leading by three. And talking about the Knicks, GA, do you feel they took a step forward last season? I do. I mean, losing in seven in the conference semis with all the injuries they had that, that really kind of set them back they ended that game seven with the Pacers missing four of their starting five so no doubt expectations will be high and again no good by Brooklyn that's not how you want to come out of the break three straight misses they need to settle in quick and the timeout called here by Tom Thibodeau this will give him a chance to discuss some potential alterations. Miles McBride's checked in for the Knicks. For New York, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. Runs in the pass to Bridges. The three. Brooklyn with the rebound. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Talk about hurting your team. I mean, he just can't get anything to go out there. And McBride gets it to go. And that's on the defense there. Gotta know the scouting report and understand that he loves his shot. Next play, 32. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Johnson outside from deep. It's rebounded by Ananobi. Ouch. Five shots without a main. That's a really ragged start. Coming out of that. The deep three by Brunson. And Brunson getting hot. Going in a hurry. He's got his fingerprints all over this play. 32. Schroeder finds Clarkston. Outside Thomas. Master Schroeder to stop the drought. Connects from three-point range. Schroeder. Schroeder's got seven points in the game. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Bridges misses. Oh, he really Bridges. broke up that transition opportunity. Looks like it'll be a transition First take foul. foul. And if you First listen to Cam foul. Johnson talk about shooting, James my goodness, RJ, he is a student of the game. Studies a lot of different shooters, constantly the analyzing his the own way. footwork. And you know What's what? Up? The result speaks for themselves. Since moving back to Brooklyn in 2012, the Nets, Greg, have won just two playoff series. Just think about the all-stars they've had. KG, Pierce, Durant, Kyrie, Harden. I could name more. The, the Nets just haven't been able to put it together. Down low. The trade. That one's in there. The Knicks lead has cut down now to just two points with that basket from Finney Smith. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. Here's Ananobi. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The drive by Schroeder. 
and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one is on top. And Schroeder putting the pressure on the New York Knicks here in this third quarter. A quick fix to be competitive. And Kevin, this franchise has sold its future more than a few times. But, but they always find a way to bounce back. You hope they don't go for a quick fix with this group. The Knicks making a switch. And this game is tied once again. Ben Simmons comes in for Cameron Thomas. That one drops for him. That was a disgusting break. Tie breaker But it's been night and day for him after the break. Here's Simmons. Schroeder outside. Pass to Claxton. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. New York's gone two of five with the three point shot. Jericho coming out of the break. Simmons. Although he's undersized at his position, his vertical. Yeah, that'll clean up a few mistakes. 157 left here in the third quarter. And Jordan Fernandez has called a timeout. He wants a minute here to get things straightened out with his team. Some changes for Brooklyn. Bonnie's checked in, and it's Jake Milton in for Nicholas Claxton. Simmons with it, now guarded by Towns. The Nets working the ball around now. And the Nets miss again. The Knicks leading by four. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge to see how Josh Hart's doing. David. Hi, guys. The head athletic trainer from New York gave us some information. And unfortunately, it sounds pretty serious. The team was just starting to settle into its rotations. Now, next man up. Kevin. David, thanks for the great update, guys. It doesn't sound good. No, if that report is accurate, He's going to be spending a lot of time in rehab and on the sideline. And you just hate to see any injury, but potentially a serious one like this breaks your heart. Here's Simmons. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the five. Well, Ben Simmons is a multiple-time All-Star, but Richard, it's been years since he has played at that level. We know about the injury history. And I wish Ben nothing but the best. I'm rooting for him, but it's hard to talk about someone who doesn't consistently play the game, and the injuries have taken Ben out of that position. Well, Greg, the Knicks have certainly brought hope back to the city of New York. And it's been fun to watch. The fans are rallying behind this team. And it's not just because they're winning. It's the way they're winning. They play with heart and hustle. Here's Payne. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. First yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. The Knicks shooting their first free throws of the game right now. The first one falls. Wilson, he's checked in for Dennis Schroeder. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Screen by Simmons. Back to Milton. Wilson the pass to Milton. It's good. This game is all even. This is why you always have to chase guys off the arc because everyone has a three-point shot now. Shot and game clock separated by five. It's good from long range. Vic Bryant's got six here in this quarter. For real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. This one for three. And again, New York with the triple. Nick You can see he's found his rhythm here in the third quarter. You can just sense the uptick in confidence. Everything he puts up from long range seems to be going. And so it's the New York Knicks with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've dictated the pace, pushed the ball at every chance, and it's paying off for them. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? 
And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. That wasn't a better pass in the game. Almost like he had a sixth sense. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. So for Brooklyn now, Simmons is out there with Shake Milton. Then it's Williams. And it's Wilson at the power forward. Here's Brunson. Here's McBride. Off the mark there with the three point shot. Stolen. And he goes in. For McBride is on fire defensively and offensively. And you can see what a which play. Team is the swagger right now. That's trail by six. To the inside. Here's Milton. Got a piece of it. Bain looking around. McBride passes to Brunson. They get it back. Sims kicks to Brunson. Buries the long-range jumper. And it's a nine-point Knicks lead. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Knicks. They've been just suffocating on defense the whole game. Look at their shot blocking. The opposition doesn't have any room to breathe. And I'll tell you, the energy they've shown in the open floor, boy, it has been terrific. Doing a phenomenal job converting in those situations. Here's Brunson. Brunson, hard finish inside. This is the player that Brunson has become. He's capable of carrying the load offensively on any given night. And Jordy Fernandez has called a timeout. He has decided it's the right time to talk. Hard, he's checked in for Cameron Payne. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, guys. During that break, listened in on Jordy Fernandez's That's huddle. It. He was disappointed in the shot selection. He told them, stay patient, run the offense, make the extra pass. We don't have to make up the deficit all at once. See if they start shooting a little better. Kevin? Thank you, David. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. Milton, the screen on Brunson. He lobs it up, and he lays in the alley-oop. I love the selfless approach. Simmons is all for feeding every teammate. McBride finds Hart. No good from outside. And Milton's got the ball here for the Brooklyn Nets. Williams shot is off. Wilson against Hart. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Yeah, he was able to sneak it to the rim. Not enough room to get just like an easy layup. Nets trail by seven. Here's Simmons. And yep, finally drops it after rolling around the rim. Simmons got six here in this quarter. And not many 6'10 players have the handles that Simmons has. Hart, no good. For Brooklyn, they've gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. That is a perfect placement of that dime. Just guided it right to him. New York leading by three. Brunson outside. Brunson stays Angel and finds his opening inside. And Jordy Fernandez has called a timeout. It's a chance for them to regroup and refocus. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Nets trail by five. Outside Thomas. Johnson kicks to Finney Smith. Stolen by Brunson. Brunson barreling in. They blow the whistle just as he gets it. Brunson with the assist. With a chance for another one at the strike. Hart will go try to get one more. Off an assist. Charge to Cameron Thomas. That's his first personal. First team foul. And he gets it. At the line. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. The three from Thomas. And Carl Anthony Towns pulls it down. Towns has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Wow. Wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Free throw good. Hart. Two shots. And Hart drops them both. 
Mets trail by 10. Takes a step back. There's Thomas with the three. The Knicks pull it in. And here is Hart. It's good. Hart's got nine points. And Hart has found himself here forward. in the fourth you quarter. Have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. They have great execution. And what stands out is that they're just taking what the defense gives them, not forcing anything. One of the best three and D wins in the league. Start with OG Ananobi, who excels from the corner. Hey, hey Kevin, about 45% on quarter threes the last couple seasons. So OG can space that floor horizontally. That's in addition to his elite defensive ability. That free throw, no good. You love the readiness of Cam Thomas. Whatever his team needs, whenever they need it, he is prepared to deliver. Good on the second free throw. Ooh, you hope that leaving points at the line won't come back to haunt them. Ananobi outside. The shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got assist number five here tonight. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. And the first one drops. The NBA has always been a star-driven league, Greg, and that's reflected in team strategies now more than ever before. It is. All over the league, teams now building their systems around their stars. What a play for the Nets. Players ...and running the offense through them as much as possible. The Knicks leading by nine. Here's Hart. And the shot no good, a bit short. Brooklyn's gone one of three from outside the arc since the And the pressure in this game has been intense on both sides. And finds a way on that offensive end. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. OG Akinobi at the line. Two shots. Good on the first, and that stretches their lead to eight. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Thomas with it. Bridges covering. Picks it out to Schroeder. Pass to Johnson. Offline with his three. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Bridges misses. Now here's Johnson. 50 seconds left in the game. And that one drops for him. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. A coach knows it. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. Here passes to Johnson. Got it! What a beautiful shot to bring him to the Just three. like that, they're down by three. From Johnson, even on the quick shot. Guys, this possession could decide their fate. And they have to be careful with the ball. And the shot will not go from on and over. Three seconds. And they tie the this game. And it's all about the three right here. We'll see what they draw up. Three pointer is a must. Good. They're down by one. Bucket to bring them within one. Oh, you just love if they foul Brunson, and that's going to be easy buckets. What they needed here and was determined to deliver. This free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. And those were some big-time shots. Those free throws help him make this a three-point game. Brunson feeling strong. Hayes has called a timeout, and he knows there's no room for mistakes and wants everyone on the same page. What do you think we're going to see coming out of this timeout? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Yeah, time is the enemy at this point. So I think I'd go for the tie and avoid playing the foul. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. Two shots. He drops the first one and that gives them a four-point cushion. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it. Here in Madison Square Garden, the Knicks take down the Brooklyn Nets in a very, very pressure cooker. Let's see who is the MVP of the match. Along with Greg Anthony, Richard Jefferson, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Hart. Jalen. Thank you for watching tonight's presentation on 2K Sports. But as we go, let's take a look at our player of the game, Jalen Brunson.